Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Crone and welcome back to the channel and today I have a pretty cool review for you guys of the L Ultimate Filter, the 3 nanometer OSC filter from Optolong. Um, so I'm not getting paid to say good things about this filter. Um, I have a good relationship with them, but I am not getting paid anything for this video. Um, I'm saying what I think and like my thoughts on the filter and I'm going to show you comparisons from the L Extreme versus the L Ultimate which will, should help you guys out with which whatever filter you want to buy and if it's worth buying this filter and I'll tell you my thoughts probably at the end of the video so right now I'm going to show you comparisons from the L Extreme to the L Ultimate as in halos, detail and the channel like the the channels so the O3 channel and the HA channel all the signal and the differences so these the two photos are the same thing so five hours of data under the same skies so same amount of data under the same skies but different filters and different cameras but they're really similar cameras um, just the 533 has a has more pips or bigger pixels and a square as a, as the 183 is not a square sensor and has less pixels or less big pixels smaller pixels but let's get into the video I'm talking too much you can always skip through this part but here we go so at first glance you see uh, my SHO stack here um, this is SHO I extracted the channels from an APP to create this SHO image here and this is no processing just a quick saturation boost in APP taken into Photoshop here and as you can see there's just a lot going on for five hours of integration time here I mean look at all this all this green is just whatever who cares we're not processing here when I'm just showing you whatever so this is five hours of L ultimate data and let me show you a comparison of the L extreme data five hours of data here this is five hours of data. This is not SHO, so I'll show you a better comparison. Um, this is just a quick stack out of APP. But this is five hours of data with the L Extreme filter. But this is not really a great comparison. Let me show you a better comparison with the HA channels. So this one versus the L Ultimate. So here is the HA channel with the L Extreme filter. Obviously, there is some crazy. Cr this is crazy. It looks really good. There's a lot going on here. And it looks pretty cool. I mean, compared to the other filter, not so much. But this looks good. Five, five hours of data, seven nanometers. Hey, pretty awesome. But let me show you the L Ultimate HA channel here. This is the HA channel from the L Ultimate. Five hours of data, same amount of data was the L extreme and obviously this is mind-blowing there's so much going on here I mean compared to this there's just a lot more contrast into this like there's so much like boom like it's awesome it just looks awesome but what really got me was the O3 channel of the L ultimate versus the L extreme and I'll show you that right now here is the L extreme data of the O3 channel. I mean, it's strong, but it's not as strong as the L ultimate filter. I mean, there's so much O3 here, which allowed me to play with, and it allowed me to create a pretty cool image of the North American Nebula. I mean, there's so much O3 signal with this filter. It is just insane I mean look at that it just looks awesome HA and O3 channel just magnificent beautiful 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 and it's just a huge difference I mean if you I don't know what to say it's just a huge difference you clearly see a big difference in O3 here versus DL extreme here and that is just the data, the channels part. Um, now we can talk about probably the most 
annoying issues about these filters and that is the halo the halos around stars now i'm gonna show you the l extreme data here i have 13 hours of data here i know huge difference from five hours but 13 hours here this is 13 hours sho with the l extreme filter and it looks pretty good um but the halos i believe this stars deneb if i'm not if i'm correct i think so look at that halo okay that is awful <laughs> i don't know if you can see it look at that that is awful that is awful awful halo i mean it's like no noise but anyway that is just terrible halo with the l extreme there i mean awful and there's one there as well terrible that this one's not so hard to clean up but this one god awful um if i go through the channels there it is there it is in the ha channel there it is or sorry that's not the ha channel this is the ha channel uh this is awful i mean what the heck man and wow this is not fun to play around with um if now let me show you the the ultimate l ultimate this is the same thing sho look at that the star oh my god you can't see the halo is not that bad it's not that bad it's really not if i go to the ha channel it is not there the halo is not there in the ha channel which is really weird but if you go to the o3 channel here sorry this, this is the o3 channel it is not there or it is there the, the the halo is there for some reason i don't know why but there is a halo in the o3 channel which makes i don't know i don't understand that but whatever the halo is still there uh you can tell what are you gonna do i don't know why a little disappointed with that but hey easy cleanup it's better than this freaking halo but uh it doesn't really show up here so that's good easy cleanup but um yeah that's the halos are a big difference in the l ultimate filter um yeah big difference than the l extreme here um obviously if i add more data maybe it would pop out more but i don't really see that really happening but that is just awful Okay, so I have to take a break because I am sick and my throat is kind of killing me. So I have to take a break of talking for a little bit. <laughs> but um, I think I covered mostly like the most important things about this filter, which is the halos, the halos and the data. I'm not sure what else to really say about the filter. But I could say is that it is obviously a great filter, like really good. And it does work with DSLR cameras, but it, it is better used with faster systems. So like dedicated astronomy cameras, like ZWO and QHY. Um, I think those are great cameras to use with, with this kind of filter. Um, but yes, it could be it could be used with DSLRs. Um, if you have a stock DSLR, good luck. I mean, it's gonna be probably very noisy. Um, I've had that issue with the L-Extreme with the stock DSLR, it was just god awful noise. Gosh, especially when it's warm in the summer. Ooh, when it's a little cooler, like in the winter and the fall, it's you can kind of deal with it. But this filter, I think it's great. It's probably better used with a dedicated astronomy camera, which you can see here. This is just five hours of data, it looks great. I'll show you my results. I'm sure you've seen it already. But this is the result. Sorry, there's no dark mode here. I don't know why. But uh, <laughs> this is the result I got. I mean, just amazing. Um, Optalong themselves posted it. I thank you guys. Optalong themselves posted this and my review on it. I posted a whole review on the Instagram. And yeah, I mean, I, I love this photo. It looks great. Um, there's obviously a huge difference in detail, contrast, than the L Ultimate or the L Extreme. 
I think with more data that my images will look way better with this filter and it's just awesome there's a lot of, there's some things I don't like about it obviously the halos haven't really been fixed it's a, just a tad um, like they they're easy they're easy to deal with now the male extreme so um, if you're looking for a one-shot color filter if you don't have a mono and you're looking just to get a night of imaging done one night projects I think the L extreme and the L ultimate are both great filters for that um, but if you want to spend the extra hundred bucks for a lower bandpass from se seven nanometers to set or to three nanometers I say go with the L ultimate if you want to spend that extra a hundred what is it a hundred two hundred dollars on it I think you should go with the L ultimate um, I mean you can't go wrong three nanometer filter okay three nanometers um, for one shot color you can't go wrong with that I think I have nothing else to say more about it so I hope this kind of helped with uh, with your decision I hope my comparisons kind of helped so I unfortunately couldn't record on the field because I got home late and it was cold and it was dark and I didn't want to film in the dark I don't have those cool fancy lights so I'm here to show you the comparisons so if you enjoyed the video and thought this review was helpful I'm not very good at reviews but if you thought it was helpful um, leave a like share the video and thank you guys for watching and until next time clear skies